All right, guys, welcome back. Just a short one today. Unfortunately, not a video I wanted to be making. So let me show you what we got. We'll show you what's going on. All right, wife's 2015 Passat TDI. So we'll turn it on, okay. We have fuel. Ignition is on, all the lights eventually go off. TPMS is freaking out because I killed the battery once already trying to diagnose this. So, check this out. Crank but no start. So, like I said, I started doing some of the diagnosis already. First things first, obviously, check the fuses, check the relays. Everything is bang on, everything is working. So, after that, now we gotta start checking the harder stuff. Okay, so first things first, it used to make a whine, right? You could hear the fuel pump kick on. Uh, the lift pump, let me be clear, right? So the TDI has one pump in the tank that transfers across the hump. There's one pump in the tank that transfers up to the engine. And then there's a high pressure fuel pump that goes to your diesel injectors. So normally when you push the thing, before it started cranking, you could hear the fuel pump kick on, the lift pump, um, and hear it whine before it would start cranking. Obviously, we're not hearing that right now. Sensing a trend here. Same sort of thing was happening on the Civic just recently. But, so here's what we do. Okay, so covers off. These are our injectors right here. Obviously these come and they're fed by the high pressure fuel rail, okay? So we've got a hard line that comes in. That's your high pressure. You follow that down. Here's your high pressure fuel pump. That makes sense. We remember setting this when we did the timing valve, okay? High pressure fuel pump. So up to here, feeds your injectors. So then we gotta look. We have this, which is a surge tank, okay? So this line right here that comes in, has a sensor on it, goes down into the high pressure fuel pump, okay? I'm guessing that this goes from the surge tank to the high pressure fuel pump. Fuel pump feeds the pressure rail, not this line, okay? We have this other one that looks like an EVAP line because it picks up on here and then it goes back to the tank. So that's an EVAP line. We have this other one that comes off the opposite end of the high pressure, back here, back into the surge tank. And then from the surge tank, we have this other one, right? Oh, where'd it go? This one. We have this one that goes back to the tank. So this should be our feed from the tank. So I'm gonna pop this off. We'll try turning the engine on. We'll try cranking it over because I don't have the VCDS tool that will let me turn the transfer pump, the lift pump on. So we're gonna have to turn it on and crank and try to get fuel to come out of there. Okay guys, I probably should have put you up where you could see, but it's hot out here, so I'll save you the misery. So I unhooked this, let it just hang here. As you can see, there's no diesel. This thing was bone dry on the inside. So either I'm wrong and this is actually an EVAP line or we're not getting anything from the tank. I also looked, what if I was wrong and this other line comes from the tank and feeds into here and feeds into here, that would go to the high pressure fuel pump and then this could be your overflow and come in. Um, but if that's the case, I would expect let me see under here see how those ones are on top of the injector so almost like low pressure so that I don't think that one is actually a feed that one has to be an evap line back to the tank so we got the right one <sighs> that's trouble all right so we sorted out the low pressure side we think that's the problem but just in case there's a, a quick check I can do on 
the high pressure fuel pump at that pressure regulator, if there's metal shavings or debris in that little bowl where that picks up the pressure, we got a pretty good indication that maybe the high pressure fuel pump is also a problem. So I'm gonna pop that off real quick and we'll check there. All right. So, to look for signs of problems with the high pressure fuel pump. So here's the pressure regulator. And if you look in there, no metal shavings. So that's a pretty good indicator that we're not having issues with our high pressure fuel pump. Let me get that put back together. All right, so if the line going into our surge tank is bone dry, we're not hearing the pump kick on, I'm leaning towards at almost 200,000 miles, my lift pump is out. Problem is, that's gonna cost me 150 bucks and it's gonna take like six days to get here. So, you guys are gonna have to get caught up in another video, but since the parts for the Civic are also on the way, um, new main relay, and I gotta investigate that ignition switch a little bit more, uh, those are basically the two things, right? So, um, a couple of you guys left comments on my last video on the Civic, helping me troubleshoot that fuel pump. Uh, I got a new main relay because I got some suspicions on that. And then I'm going to dig into that ignition a little bit more. It's possible that somebody tried to steal the car, and that's how we ended up with a bunk ignition. But it's also getting up to 200,000, so I'm going to check out and get that new ignition. So since all the parts are on the way maybe i'll just do one like catch everybody up on the fuel pump issues and we'll do one video recapping everybody so in the meantime sorry short and sweet this week thanks everybody for staying tuned i appreciate y'all we're gonna get after some sick audi stuff here pretty soon uh, i got a bunch of paint work to do so we're gonna have to go pick up the paint and we'll get the fenders fixed get that bumper fixed uh do a little custom stuff on the headlights tbd uh, and get that bad boy on the road. Kind of anxious to start driving it. So, stay tuned. And uh, again, appreciate y'all. Thanks for staying with us. All right, get to work.